Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Dead I'm just joking. I just joking. last episode I called it Dead Dead. This is the Fall Supper List, boys! And we are back with another episode. Last episode, we spent some time sorting out the canal route, getting in all the train line. Uh, it took a little bit of a while, but we kind of had to get it in for the infrastructure-wise so we understand the know where stuff is going to go. Some of this stuff takes a little bit of time, but today we're going to waste no time in increasing the population. So today I want to kind of uh, zone a brand new area and get a load of residential people added in. I want to extend one of the metro lines to this new residential area. I want to build a brand new city park as well. That's going to be another way that we can start to generate revenue before we turn off unlimited money. And also, with that brand new uh, train line that we added in, build a new industrial area too. Now... If you guys are enjoying this series and want to see more, then make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're new around here, then make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out. But we are back. So this is what we got added in last episode. It's big, it's beautiful, it's uh, very, very bold right now. But it kind of sets us up in future episodes to where we want to utilize all this stuff. So some of this stuff has to get in. It has to take a little bit of time to kind of add it all in. The train lines are in right now. Industrial area can be built around here, but it kind of then progresses. There's no point in me building everything and then deleting it to get something in. It's not going to work that way. But today, we got lots of expansions. Now, we've got this area in here, which when you take a look at the... If you view it from a uh, public transport kind of um, standpoint, we got the train lines coming in. We have this metro coming down here to there and then to there. I think eventually, I want to then bring it up to here and then bring it round. So I want to create this one here in a big loop. And that will be the central... Um, kind of metro system and then everything comes off other stations in other directions like how this one kind of comes off and goes in that direction so what I want to do is I want to kind of build here first and we'll kind of zone all this up to residential commercial whatever it may be build a city park not in the whole of this square but like from from this road there I think I'll use this road here these two connections there going directly up and then in the middle will be a huge city park. We're going to need it. I'll put down like a nice little pond and a, a little stream and whatnot. It'll be pretty nice. Get all this zoned up as well. All this up to there as well. Get all this in. And I can extend that kind of metro line coming down here going up and have a stop just there. And then think about getting public transport from this side down to here through the park. Might be trams. Might be monorails. I don't know. We'll kind of figure it out. So... Let's jump straight into this then. So, uh, we're going to start by first getting the roads. And we're going to bring this directly up. Just so I know what kind of spacing I've literally got. Now, that is pretty close to that junction there. Which shouldn't be a problem. I, I have got to set it all up right now. And that rectangle here in the middle is going to be our city park. It is huge, boys. Absolutely huge right now. <laughs> I can't wait to get that in. So we'll do the generic stuff first, then like we've got a road crossing here. we got a road crossing there right now. Now, do I, don't I, do I, don't I add roads through the city park? Now I could. It's not an issue. Um, I can do the paths that kind of go over it. I could add in more and more kind of connections. I think we'll decide that when we come to build it. So let's focus first on getting all this set up. So this here, if I just kind of push that through, delete, delete, just so I know where my grid alignment's gonna be. So I've got to take that back. So delete that 10 there. So I'm take it, that there is a 10, that is a 20. So technically I'm doing a nine. Boom. So then from here, is a 40 so bam bam so you do you do kind of lose it a little bit the grid format but you got to do it at times it, it, it is what it is oh i messed that up big time there messed that up big time boys so if i bring this first all the way across so that down to there is a 61 so i can do the 10 and cut in it's not always cut out to be perfect there we go so bam bam so i think rather than kind of do it that way do it this way to kind of uh get away from those jagged edges 
So not bad, they're not too shabby. I think I'll cut this down to here. And then get rid of this. And that ain't too bad. So what I'll eventually do is, well, I know there's like big gaps here, but we, we add in little walkway paths on these little kind of uh, junction sections. But it also kind of freezes up as well if we eventually want to get in any roundabouts. So keeping it free, uh, like how we've done here. Adding in um, that kind of connection. Now, we wouldn't run this line. Oh, do you know what? And then again, I could maybe... You know like how we got like a third line coming off here? I can maybe do a third line there. It comes down this way. Just have like a little station by the start of the uh, the city park. Even though we can have another metro line that goes this way, but this one can just tear through the middle of all of it. Ooh. See, that's an idea. And with that idea, it changes then how I want to approach this. So that there is pretty much... Well, I say pretty much. It's almost in line. That is the in, That's the one that's in line right now. So if I connect you into there... Because I do it like this. You know how this is staggered? Now, it's staggered for a reason. One, for the big roundabout. But two, if we potentially wanted to get in. Um, or run down with a train line. Now, we did put commercial there for, for, the, for the most part. But uh, that's okay. So, how do I do that then? So, not add these in. So, it just runs down normally. Not bad. Right, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> we'll see how this goes, boys. Um, okay, so we've got that in. Leave it as that. I just want to start getting some of this zoned, and then we can start getting people moving in. It's very important. That's how we do it. So if I come out by an 11, that is a 50 watt, so a 40. So now remember how we did it before. I don't know if we did it like here. We're doing 40 gaps. That's where you normally have a connection, but we're going to do a pedestrian connection. So we do a... 40 gap and connect in so that will be here a 40 gap and connect in another 40 gap and connect in now at some point do i want to then run another one of these wider four lane roads we probably will i'll do another 40 gap here and then connect in and i think at this point then if i then did um we'll use the one with the trees so if I did a 40 gap and connect in there. So, ow, it doesn't work like that, Sadiak. i, I got to do 41. Why am I now underground? What happened? <laughs> what happened in that slight brief implementation? So 51. Right. If my calculations are correct right now, 51. So then 40. Yes, we are running parallel with this. So if I just quickly set this up, so then another 40, and then a 11 would be the connection, right? So, wha bam Right, perfect. So we've got an idea of how this is now all going to run. We'll have a highway connection be implemented just here. That's going to run down that way, probably have a little connection just there. I don't know, we'll see how things go, but... Oh my goodness, babe, we're going to have so much zoning implemented right now. So if I ran this up, now this is becoming somewhat of a type of main-ish road, isn't it? Now, with this, you're probably thinking, so would it be worthwhile if this road was bulked up a bit more? It all depends on what type of traffic comes from it, because then you could argue, well, if I had a highway connection here for this road... They could just utilize the highway more and go around, couldn't they? They could do, but you just never know. You never know in this game. So now then, calculations, 480. So 40, bam. 40, bam. It all slowly comes together, boys. So that goes across. So this is literally going to be the most gridded system you've ever seen in your life. Now, you're probably thinking, yo, Sinead, this is, like, disgusting. Why so many grids? Well, you got to remember, this is the inner city. This is the inner city. We'll, we'll have a few little quirks here and there. Don't get me wrong. We'll still have a few little quirks. But inside of this ringed highway is going to be the most grids you're going to see 
throughout the whole of Fallsopolis. Outside of the grids, that's when we slowly start to kind of wind down into suburbs and all that kind of jazz. I want maximum population in the middle. So, with that implemented in, what style of um, direction are we going to be going with? Now, I think what we'll do is the middle here, we'll have it going up. And then the either side, we go sideways, just to kind of split up the, uh, the directions. And possibly force them to maybe jump onto a four-lane road. Uh, that would be kind of like a little bit of a handy way to do it. So get all this across. Like that. So just split it all up. So everything all leads down to a centre point. So whether you're here or there, you kind of push into there, down, push into there and down. So you're all focusing to the same point anyway. Uh, but just kind of split it up. A little bit of directional change kind of makes the grid less boring. Now, while we do this then, should we get some zoning in so we can actually get some building works done? I think so. I think so right now. So we have no residential demand at the minute. We have none at all. But if I place down some commercial, it'll provide jobs, which will then hopefully go on to give us the residential demand that we need. So if I literally just go around the recon with commercial like that. I do the same here and here. Uh, there. Now, I'll do it all the way up to here, even though I don't really know what I'm going to do with the train line just yet, or the metro line, I should say. But get all that in. Now, we do want um, like chunks of commercial near the park, because that's where they're all going to be working, but I don't exactly know how I'm going to do it just yet. So with that logic, I'm going to drop a nice little kind of shopping district just there to where there would be an entrance for the city park just here. So while that spends the demand, I'm now literally going to filter all of this to be residential. Now, I'll be honest with you. I currently don't have the demand to fill this whole section right now. And with what I'm placing down is so ridiculously dense so ridiculously dense right now um it's going to take me probably a, a, a four or five episodes to get it all done because i'm already at like forty thousand population this zoning right now is borderline going to make the game go so slow and for a long time right now look, i'll say it right now for a long time right now we're going to have traffic issues so I, I'm going to try not to get sucked into fixing them because I know all this zoning is everybody moving in at once. So we'll give it a little bit of time. We'll give it a little bit of time. And hopefully if I can catch it just right, if I can implement the city park, and then they'll all use the city park to travel through, or well, the majority of them will, we'll be getting big dollar dollar in our bank accounts. Oh, it's going to be glorious. So by increasing all of this, I'm going to have to increase all of our services. I'm going to have to increase our power, our water supply, um, our garbage, um, policing, schooling. Everything has to be increased. But I give them time to start getting in. Now, the one thing I've got to do is implement some more industrial. Now, what's good is you can place offices pretty much anywhere it doesn't really affect anything so i might include a couple of offices around here somewhere make a little it zone or you know whatnot and then we'll take a look at building some dirty industry nearer the train line so there's a lot there isn't there guys there's a lot implemented we're gonna need that highway connection to get you know people <laughs> not all fighting for this junction and that junction just give us something additional but oh my god, talk about inner city. Talk about being in the inner city, boys. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be crazy. Okay, right. Without getting too excited right now, there's a couple of options I can do. I can either, one, build the city park now, right? Two, get the highway connection in here as everybody starts to move in, thus alleviating some of my other junctions and roads a little bit. Or three, I can build the industry, industry sorry, and um, get rid of that demand to then be able to increase the residential and commercial demands. 
All logic points to Seniak, do that the road first. That will save you headache in the long run. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll get this done real quick right now. So, four lane road. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to do this. <laughs> so this should be a 10 away. It is. Alright, that there is a 10. Alright, so that should be a 10 as well. Yes. So, we need to elevate them. Um, well, we go normal roads because the slip roads don't really like it at times. Was that even a 10? Let me start again. Oh, that's kind of throwing me off. Alright, it is a 10, but it's slightly more than a 10 because of the... Um... Wow. Right, hold on, guys. Because... It's a bit fishy. There we go. It wasn't exactly perfect. Alright, 10. And a 10. So we quickly elevate these to be this. And if I remember correctly, they are 25s. Twenty-five. And twenty-five. So, flip these all the way around. Flip them all the way around. That's all good. We then drop these here down to a two-lane. Because, you know, lane math. We then hook up this road. Normal style Directly underneath. That's it. Oh, that's a bigger road. That No, that is the right road, isn't it? It's got a turning lane on it. Right, eventually I will switch them out to other stuff. I'm just going to keep them basic until I see the demand increase. We'll now quickly sort out that lane math. So, bam. Bam. To ease the on and off ramps. There we go. And then, of course, we need to sort out the alignment. So, go, changing the camera angle slightly. There to there, we enter. There to there, bam. There to there, bam. There to there, bam. And voila! We have a junction connection. <laughs> so hopefully they'll use this then to get to here, which will take a little bit of the heat off elsewhere. Even though we don't really have the demands just yet, because again, like I said, it's going to take me... Hey, this is why you need, after so long, you need the super demand mod. <laughs> this is why you need it after so long. But um, I do need to spend some industrial demand. Now, we do have a little bit of a office-y kind of space just there. So we'll kind of implement the same thing. We'll get rid of this here. And I'll place down some offices so it's near the shopping district. Just to kind of take away a bit of the noise pollution from the shoppers. So you can, you can, you can live, work and sleep all in the same zone just there that takes a little bit of the edge off just here now for other areas i don't really know i truly don't know just yet so um yeah we'll keep it like that we'll you will try and spend some industrial demand and then we'll figure out where we're running said train uh, said metro line all the way through so that metro line there is just literally probably going to be a, I mean, where would it go? Hmm. To be honest with you. Because that's running down that way. The one coming this way would run this way and then turn and go down that way. So, to be honest with you, I don't know if I want a metro line to turn and go down this way. I have to make this decision now. I'm going to do a little tram line that probably goes around the Recon. Do you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'll implement one in. I mean, I'm probably adding too many lines to this, but it's a case of getting everything sorted. I mean, I could use that one to be the loop going around. Or do you reckon that's too close? Now, I'll have that middle one cut through because it can literally be to cut through the whole area and be a stop towards the park. Yeah. Okay. 
We'll do that, boys. We'll do that. So, I want to utilize this area right now with the trains. Now, I did get these ramps up here in case I wanted to create a, like a nice little slip highway connection to get to this area a bit easier. I don't know whether that's still going to be the case. But for now, I'll utilize this area over here. Now, that's how it's kind of currently set up. I don't know whether it's going to kind of stick and can, you know, remain that way. But if I came back by 11, went straight down, that's 80. So 69 gives me that corner here. So if I delete all this again, I'm literally going to delete that because I don't know how I'm going to want the rest of it. So if I did the usual suspect, a 40, cut it in. So that's already a 10. So if I do a 30, that becomes the whole thing of 40. Now, all of this is undergr um, underground, above ground. So another 30 there should come across. Oh, no, I need to do another 10. Wait. What? <laughs> what happened? Wait, is that a 40? That's a 39. No wonder it's a bit wonky. Let's try that again. 40. Wow, that went weird. Bam. Bring this up by 40. So the whole thing's underneath, but that's what's going to give us our beautiful industrial vibes. I do have to get rid of the little collars and um, pillars and whatnot. But I want those decadent vibes of being underneath. It's like they built the area and then the highway came along and destroyed everything. I want it to all feel like it's all integrated. That makes sense. Um, okay, so... To most people, I don't like this junction in general. I think I might switch this out and just literally clone that one over here at some point. I think that's what I might do. Uh, but anyway, bringing this out then by another 40, you get this marker. Which we can 100% sort that out. So 40, all the way over. So just get this sorted. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to create some overpass roads. Uh, to get over to this area. So we know when it comes to using this. We want vehicles to come down on the right side. Because they turn in and exit that way. That's how we kind of want it to work. So what I could do is I could have, you know, the generic connection there where they filter out. But bringing them in, I don't know whether to kind of do a ramp up. To kind of bring it round and in. But then that takes away from this connection road. Because they could filter out, drive up and then in. Up to there. See, what I've, what I've done quite smart is. We've added that road here, but no other connection. These elevate up as if they were going to swing round to connect in. It's a bit of an awkward kind of scenario. It's one of those scenarios where I don't know what to do until I see stuff happen. It's one of those kind of scenarios right now. So I think what I'll do then is I'll implement all of this. Right, we'll just literally do it to here. Implement that. I'm probably going to get rid of this. So them, them pillars that are currently stuck there right now, we'll kind of leave them. Uh, but I'm going to get I'm going to replace this with this junction uh, eventually. So I'll just kind of leave it to like that. So I literally just drop that in to spend some demand, and then seeing how that builds up depends on how I'm going to approach that whole import export area. See what happens. Now, we've got some uh, garbage issues, and I do need to create a garbage plant. Vehicles are funneling out like you wouldn't believe. I think that's what the problem is. They can't get out quick enough. So just for the purpose of them being able to get in and out. There you go, guys. Do your worst. I mean, they're on their way. I think it's the case that they can't filter out that zone quick enough. It's probably what it is. But okay then, so, as of right now then, there's nothing I can do to increase the population and get the demand going. It's a case of I've got so much zoning, any demand that now pops up is going to be placed down in the current zoning that I have. So, it's now a case of waiting. 
this is where the super demand one comes in handy <laughs> you can start to see you know inklings of where your boy needs to start start you know start to enable it so leave all that to do what it's going to do let's build the beautiful city park and i'm going to start here this is where the entrance is going to be so what i want to do here is one build a car park two build a metro station now if i first come out by 10 just to kind of make the marker point of where the entry is going to be we'll have like entries on the side but i'm on about the main entrance what can i do in terms of a subway uh, a metro do i just set up a generic um underground just like this that's a bit too much um i could go again i could go with this i like the ones that kind of oh what's this one here elevated metro see that's nice that's nice the only problem is with this it's not centralized over the road which is kind of annoying isn't it but i do like that so if i implemented it like say here right if i implemented it there let's take a look so like the the main entry to the park you're going under the subway <laughs> under the metro line which is good though but don't get me wrong it's good it's cool because it creates this this feel as you enter i can utilize that as a bit of being a stop and then i create a little bit of a car park just there with the main entrance just there and the whole park around it with side gates going here there and everywhere and then obviously other entrances will be near the stops of let's say i'm gonna go with a tram line i'm gonna throw it out there right now and say i'm gonna implement a tram line right now uh, and it's it'll just bring people to and from the the city park area you know to, to earn some revenue let's just kind of throw that out there so right if i then went down by a 20 down by a 20 so we do 20 by 20s and oh i need, I need to do this in car park mode <laughs> car park mode so drop all these in now car park mode how big's car park mode Is that big enough? I'm liking how it literally leads up to the building. Oh, I forgot about the zoning. Hold on. So I'm literally going to have to do it like this. By a six. Because you have to kind of do like the main... Like the main building for the park has to be on that type of road. So City Park, if I implemented it there, which is not perfectly centered, but it is now. And I'm wondering if I can get away with maybe bulking up. Hmm. Does it still work? I don't know whether that still works or not. I mean, it's not complaining yet. <laughs> That's the difference, is it? It's not complaining yet. Hmm. It's quite a big car. We'll get like a row of trees in here. But it's quite a big car park, isn't it? We might need that big car park. You never know. I mean, a lot of people might park their car to go onto the, um, the metro line. So, okay, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. So, big boy car parking spots right now. So, bam. Implement all these in. And then the smaller ones. And then back to the big boys. Uh, 
And then here, what we're squeezing in. Should we go disabled now at this, at this last moment? Nah. <laughs> Your boy acting like disabled people don't exist again. Oh, he discriminating. He be discriminating, boys. Someone found the place. I'll try and get that in. Yeah, I'll just go like that, just for the sake of it. So that's all implemented in the car parks. Huge car park, yes, I know. But it's going to be interesting, boy. It's going to be very interesting. This is how it's all going to now be all set up. So all the zoning I've got in, this is all I've got in. <laughs> <coughs> Feels like a shambles, doesn't it? Now, with... Oh, this is something else. Like, you know this metro line stops here? I can now bring it a bit further down, have another stop there for the workers over here because apparently there is uh, not enough workers coming in. Not enough workers, so I can get those workers in and able to travel a lot easier too. See, it's all, it's all, it's all slowly coming together, boys. It's all slowly coming together. So this line right now. So that's going to continue over. So I bring you to there. Now this one here is going to be determined by how. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, but I have to do it. I have to do it right now. Uh, how far along did we go with this one before it bent out? 23. So it's not quite the 21. And... I don't know. Oh, I, do you know what? I shouldn't have bent it out there, to be honest with you. I should have first ran something parallel. And where is the connection again? Oh, it's right on this. So, okay. To get... Well, if I first bring that to there, <clears throat> I'm not sure what the bend's going to be. So it's a 15 by 18. 11. So if I come up by 4, I'm borderline doing an 11 by 11. <clears throat> <clears throat> as I slowly choke on my own words. It looks, it mimics very well, doesn't it? Both sides with the actual rail line right now. Does mimic, Whether that's going to work in practice, I don't know. But a nice little stop down to here, which will progressively continue. I'll probably then get it over there and sink it down underneath, which will go down here, which will completely cut through this whole middle section and give us another public transport line. Interesting. And then where it goes from there, I might even use that line there to kind of come down here. I might use that one to go across. We don't know. It could literally end in that stop. But for now, that's all we're going to have on that side. I do need to extend this one coming down to over here as well. Now, that one's going to be underground, The one, whatever I place down over here. Now, we got over here then, if I zoom in, um, the, the big round one, this one here. Now, to implement that in, we did it back by one. So I could, like, literally, I could do it here. And then eventually I'm going to need another one down there. Or I could implement it just here. Because although that comes the way down to here, the first stop is there. We don't really have a stop around. I mean, would we need it? Because they can walk. But I feel like this one over here is further out. And I don't want it against the road there. Because I could pull it there and it centralizes everything. <sighs> this is a tough one, isn't it? I mean, or I could... That's a point as well. I could do this version. And it all generally fits in. I could do this version. Hmm. Now, is it all because the road, how the road is currently placed? How about if we change the design of the road? Just for the purpose of the metro line. So if that came up to here, I did this, and I can literally place or drop one centralized to this. So I could drop this bad boy. 
I could drop this bad boy. We'll go with... Who would have thought this is such a tough decision? No, you can't. I can't get it perfectly centered. I might have to use the move it tool. Nah, do you know what? How did I do it over here? Ah, it was implemented on the four lane road. That's what it's perfect for. Yeah, you're not going to work then. You're not going to work. Same with that. So, in reality, I'm squeezing this in and I'm going to place it I'm going to place it on this side here. There we go. So it just kind of gets away from the main road to reduce the traffic. I know that one is then counterintuitive because that one's on the main road. But you, you know what I mean, boys. You know what I mean. So for now then, what I'll do is... I don't exactly know where this is going to go. How it's going to you know incorporate within the buildings and whatnot. But this is going to... I don't know whether to then have like another stop here where it then splits into two. I don't know. That is my, my my answer. So what I'll do is I'll bring it uh, I'll bring it all the way down to to here, right? Just so visually I can see it, and then I eventually decide what I want to do with it. So across by twelve, down by twelve. I do another twelve by. I do. What's the, hang on? What's the what's the drop on this? That is a twelve. So if I bring that to there, can I already pick up 25 on the bend? So 25, I need to go back a lot further. So, all right, let's get this all the way down then. So we'll go 12, 12 by 12, another 12 by 12 just to kind of keep the alignments going. And... 27. Right, okay, we'll do it this way. 25. By 25. Standard issue, mate. Standard issue. And there we go. So a little stop there then. So how that would work then, in terms of the metro lines. So we'll get this in and we'll sort the rest of the park out. So, metro line tool. This one, it kind of starts here, it runs down to there. Like I said, it will eventually be a loop that goes around, like connecting to that. So, it'll be like another stop maybe over here, stop here, and then connect in there. So, we've got a nice looped system going on. This one was literally cut through. So, that one will connect to the other station over here, and then continue going that way. So, it cuts through. So, you've got all these little cut throughs. You can get on multiple routes to go in multiple directions. It depends on which is your shorter option. So the stop of that then comes into here for that line is there. So if I initially drag it to over here, right, what I've then got to do is I've got to add a stop there. Then as it comes back in, add a stop there. Now we've utilized multiple platforms. So that is one way in which we can make sure that the the train or the metro traffic is connected in different ways. Would then mean I have to implement another vehicle or two. So we've currently got nine on. I don't know if nine will be... I mean, nine's fine, but I'm more concerned about the distance it has to travel. As opposed to keeping up with the demands. We'll see. We'll actually see right now. Because, like, one train can literally wipe out the whole the whole station. But I don't know whether it's had a little bit of a wobbler because I moved the line, so it kind of got rid of a lot of people. I know i got to still connect this one up. But I want to get the park in first. So, with that said, with that said right now, um... I know I want. I know I mentioned earlier that I maybe I want to get in roads passing through for the traffic. Now, if I did that, would they elevate the roads up or sink them down below? Oh, I could sink them down below, couldn't I? But I did want to get like a little bit of a water feature in. Maybe we should get the water feature in first. Yeah. So how low do we go down on this water feature? 
we go down by 48. So what I'll do is we'll kind of create a little basin just here where we have like the water source. There we go. And then from that, we'll kind of create like a little bit of a teardrop. We can do a nice little stream. Into like another little kind of sort of basin. Another like teardrop kind of style. Um... So widen it up a bit because obviously the demand is going to be quite large. So as it kind of bends around here, and then we can do like nice little pe like um, those little pier things that you can kind of throw on. I'll bend around like there. We'll kind of as it comes around, maybe suck it in down to here. Add a little bit of character to this. There, looks mental. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it looks mental. But uh, it should be fun. So if I add the water source just here. Which will probably cause some flooding. But if I just go for there for now. And then we're... Oh my god. Yeah, it's going to definitely cause some flooding. Well, I could reset the sea level. That's not a problem. But I don't think that's going to disperse too far really, is it? Yeah. If I can just figure out where those alignments are. There we go. Um, do another one just here. And then same again. So we're having one there. One there. One there. I'm sure there's going to be one more over here, right? Yes. Yes, there is. And it would also enable me to understand then where the roads are going to continue over on this side. So that would be kind of handy. We'll definitely have one that connects there. Because we'll do a little path, a little crosswalk kind of area there. So I think that'll be it for the gates. Should be pretty good. Now, I ain't going to do a straight path that walks through. We'll do like a little wind, bridge over, bridge over, that kind of, you know, stuff to kind of get it connected. So, let's wind with this then. So, we will bring it out to a certain extent. And push it down like there and like that way. Um, okay, if I do the generic stuff then. So, if I do that, we'll have a path that comes out. And this is where the bendy, the bendiness now comes in. All right, and then straight across. So what I'll do is I'll have this kind of wind around, get that connected there. Bring that up a bit more. There we go. So bringing that straight in. So we've got a nice little kind of bridged connection over there. Some of it we're going to kind of wind a little bit closer and get those little edges in. But if I just go on to create, like I said, first. These connections. And if I bring this out. straight over I think this would go down here to there So bring that straight up as well. There we go. All this little stuff that we got to try and do. So if I create a, a four by four bend, 
like that. Not too bad. Now, I could do a large bridge that crosses over there, or I can keep this as it is. We'll connect you. We'll bring you up and then round. Actually, let me delete that. Straight down right now. Connect in. So you got to do the ring going around. Not bad. And then we will try and get close to the edge. On this path side and then slowly fall away from it and now I'll do the same just here on this bit there we go So we incorporate more of the walking around the waterfront. Our population is now up to 42,000, by the way. Let's go. Uh, let's go, boys. We're making those gains. Serious gains. Serious gains right now. So then we want a couple of, maybe like a couple of dead end routes. Where we'd have like uh, the fishing... Piers. Do we get fishing piers in this? I can't quite remember. Do you know, I actually cannot... It's up in my head right now, guys. I'm being honest with you. I can't remember what you actually get in a city park. I know you get, like, normal, like, the gazebos and normal piers. Is there fishing piers included in this? I don't think there is in a city park. No, I don't think there is. Right. Walkways on point. You could argue maybe a bridge through there, but they can walk up and round and then in. So you got the you got the more direct routes. You got the scenic routes. It's all good. Are they using it now? It's mad how some people are walking all the way up here and then walking out there, as opposed to going up. Oh snap! Water, water, Seniac. Water. Is that enough to bulk it up a bit? I'll do another one. I've still got to delete that original pipe. <laughs> right, not bad. So we've got, yeah, we've got the direct routes. And so people only really walking around this section will be the ones that are like really going and enjoying the park. Basically. But I do feel like we do need to kind of get maybe... The odd additional. No, I don't. It, it doesn't look right, does it? It just doesn't look right. Right, I think what we'll do, though, is... I'll try and incorporate more... Of these type of connections... So we got like a 10 by 9. Yeah, just for there to kind of bulk them all in. Right, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Were they fishing piers? No, they're park piers. That's what they are. I thought they were fishing piers for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. Guys, I just don't know, okay? I don't know. Right, let's get a couple of these little plazas down then. So we're going to place quite a few of these right now. Just to kind of really bulk the area up, right? So we then got the park cafe. There we go. We have then the park restrooms. We have the info booth, so get one on each side very important 
Then we have the large chessboard. So this is the stuff that I'll now dot around in the inner sections. The uh, park piers, very important. Got to get a couple of these down, boys. So, dot them down. And then we got the park pier too. So these are a larger style. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, we'll do a couple of little gazebos dotted around. And then what we'll do at this point then, guys, is then fill it with trees. I won't go too tree crazy. But at the same time, it's your boy dropping trees down. Of course I'm going to go tree crazy. I right, got a couple of um, little swing sets. And then we got to build a couple of trampoline parks. And then we can officially say we're done. Right, I'll squeeze this one in over there. I'll get one more in just here. There we go. So that bulks the park up then. It just throws a lot of stuff in. It really does. You could argue about smoothing some of the edges right now. That could be a thing. I could maybe slightly increase the height of the water. Which we'll do just to there. Uh, the park as it is right now, with nothing much going on, is making a profit. That's really good to see. Really good to see right now. And then we're just going to bulk it up, make it a little bit more extravagant with some trees. So we've got a lot of death going on right now. But let me just sort out the trees, boys. So the Fool's Opalish Brush. If I increase the strength on this. So get that going around the edges of the park to begin with. How bulky is it over here? It is quite bulky, so maybe bring that strength up a bit more. So some of it will eventually be deleted down to zoning. All right, so not a lot of it I gotta worry about. Like this here, it will eventually be deleted down to the fact that there'll be zoning, the train line will continue underneath it. And it looks a little bit weak to begin with right now, but the trees do grow. Trees do grow. So while they look like this for now, little weak shrubs and whatnot, they're meant to be nice, bulky, and luscious, <laughs> if that's the correct term. So I use the, the bigger size brush to kind of bulk in a lot of it. Or we'll smoothen off the edges slightly and then use a smaller size brush to get all within the little nooks and crannies. So by placing it down as well, it kind of removes the shoreline slightly as well, doesn't it? There we go. So that will be nice. As, as time goes on, those trees grow a little bit bigger. That would get nice, nice and bulky, which is going to be quite exciting. So I'm going to fill in this little section as well. That little, might as well fill in that little section. Get all around here where we've got stuff going on. And yeah, so as of right now then, with the current zoning, we ain't doing too bad. Up to 46,000 population slowly happening. It is slowly happening now for us. This industrial area, which is uh, utilizing the trains a whole lot more. Uh, there's a couple of trains now heading on the way in. So cool thing about this then is this train line here is connected to this train line over here. It's all on the same run. That secondary line that comes in doesn't really do anything just yet. So connect to that one there. This second one, it's not it's not connected, but it doesn't really go anywhere at the minute. I think at some point it might be an ideal idea to kind of have a big junction where they all crisscross and intertwine one another so you can switch lanes. But it does what it needs to do for the most part right now. A lot of traffic, as you can see, but that is just initial. It's just the generic demands. That's like, you know, nothing more I can say about this. 
But like I said, I don't want to fix traffic just yet until people have moved in. Once they moved in, then I see where the traffic is then appearing. That's when I'll choose to go ahead and fix it because some of it is down to the fact that everyone's trying to move in all at once because I've just zoned a big residential area. Some of it is is you know honest it, it is we have an issue right there but like i said don't want to sort it out just yet don't want to sort it out just yet so let me get a couple of trees down right now we'll go for these big boys literally just do a nice large run just there just for the sake of it and oh my goodness me there's a, oh my goodness me Look at the amount of people on this station. So, apparently no one's used it. Why? Where is the train? Ah, here it is. So, line details then. There's a lot of people waiting. So, from the get-go, <laughs> that short distance. Damn, boys. But then again, I've got to implement the uh, the tram system, don't I? So that might take the edge off. I'll leave the trams. I was going to get the trams in today, but it's already been quite a long episode as it is. So I think I'll leave them for today. Let the city build up a bit more, then I'll implement and add them in. But boys, oh boys, oh boys. That short little back and forth right there is mental. It is mental. The city is slowly coming to our life. We are making tons of cash. Making big stacks right there. But the deficit is probably really, really bad. Can we view in the city statistics the city budget? We are... Um, budget is zero. No, it's not the budget. Is it the treasury? So we were minus. And now we're something else. <laughs> I, I still think we're minus, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's that unlimited money mod kind of breaks it slightly. But guys, I think we will end it for here anyway. We will end it for here anyway. Uh, there's a lot we've got done. There's a lot we still need to get do, uh, done as well. There's a lot of death going on too. So uh, I would squeeze down more, but it's just a case of the traffic right now. So we'll let this all settle. I'll let this all settle. Let it all get itself built up and running. We'll see where the tra traffic issues then lie, and then we'll go ahead and make some changes. Stuff that I'm going to be implementing is bulking up the slip roads, adding two lanes to the end of them so they can go left and right a whole lot easier. Uh, junctions that need roundabouts, we'll kind of start to slowly implement some of them uh, here and there as well. Uh, inlet roads, for example, I know there's not really much traffic going on right now because we've added in an extra line. Uh, but bulking these up to a four-lane road, so the inlet roads, or one-way systems, stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff that we do need to implement. Uh, it's also a case of making the services more centralized and more easily approachable to other areas. A lot of stuff we've got to get done. We know this. We're not stupid. It just takes time. And this is why, For if you're still watching right now, do appreciate it. But this is why I can't go crazy from day one the game takes a long time so you have to implement the infrastructure before you can add the growth so for those people who just want me to build a million population like in four episodes it's not possible guys it's not possible until next time i'll see you all soon so good Bye.